Tech Brothers, in this video we're going to learn how to create group policy logon script for Dynamics AX client installation. This is for any user that who will log in or you wanted to uh, install Dynamics AX client on multiple um, multiple servers, multiple client servers, then you could use this uh, script using a logon script. So I, I'm going to show you step by step. Here's my uh, domain controller where I have installed Active Directory and all my users are in Active Directory. So what we're going to do is go to Administrative Tools, click on that, and up here it says Group Policy Management. So we're going to right click and run as Administrator. and here's a, a Tech Brothers domain so we're gonna go ahead and right click and create GPO in domain and link it here we're gonna click on that and we're gonna name it Dynamics AX client install and uh, you you don't have to uh, do the source starter GPO so click OK and it appears in the list right here Dynamics AX uh, client you can click OK on that Dynamics AX client install so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and edit it and this will open uh, group policy management editor so we're gonna go in user configuration go to policies and Windows setting and right here is script log on and log off so since in this video we're going to create a logon script so we're going to go ahead and click on logon and go to properties and you can click show files if you already have a script but um, uh, one thing I wanted to mention here that I run into an issue if I do uh, like show file and try to create right here um, folder um, text I will get uh, in Windows 2012 I'll get an error that uh, it's uh, um, I, I don't have permission to create a file but if you look at right here this is why because it creates a folder right here is a temporary folder and uh, if folder is like that usually what happen is that uh, you don't have permission to write onto that that folder because it doesn't inherit all the permissions so what you need to do is really go back um, uh, using normal windows uh, like here I would show you <clears throat> go to C windows and it's a uh, sys if you click s it says sys volume and click on sys volume again tech brothers local scripts and let me do that this volume tech brothers local and scripts not sure why it's not showing the uh, this is how you need to get to um, the logon uh, if you actually from here if you go to tech brothers local and go to policies I apologize about that policies and then this these are the temporary files uh, that is uh, it's uh, folders that's showing and that's why you can't really directly create the uh, file you can go ahead and I have created one script logon script and I'm going to go ahead and copy this script to the to go back a little To policies I'm just showing you the workaround so this is uh, a temporary folder that it created we're gonna go double click go to user scripts log on and we're gonna paste it right here and hit continue this is my script I'm gonna show you real quick that um, if you click add it this is the script it's gonna get uh, setup.exe from D drive and you need to put it whatever your D drive is and you need to write all that if I take the this out you need to type all this 
uh, in order to have a client installed because these are just option which language the client needs to be which company it needs to be and all that kind of good stuff so this is the script that we have uh, created I have created already uh, keep in mind that if you run into issue uh, like that then you need to go conventional way and create that uh, file if then okay and apply click OK as you can see if you go to the properties now that file is there I hope it helps.